It's Saucy Sunday and today I'm bathing in bechamel sauce. Well, I will be by the end of this video. Bonjour, this is Cooking Fabulously, the channel that puts more fun and fabulousness into French food. If this is your first time watching, press the like button and maybe even the subscribe button and the bell notification just beside that and that way you'll get an email every time I release a new video. And really, who wouldn't want that? My name's Andrew Pryor. Well, my food is a little bit like me. Might not look good, but it sure does taste delicious. So today we're making a bechamel sauce, which is one of the five mother sauces of French cuisine. The others being a velouté, hollandaise, espagnol or brown sauce, and tomato sauce. But not like the tomato sauce that comes out of a bottle, an actual tomato sauce. The mother sauces were developed in the 19th century by chef Auguste Escoffier, who was one of the founders of modern French cuisine as we know it today. Of course, a bechamel sauce has been around, well, probably forever. The Italians use it in their lasagna, as we all know. But Escoffier refined all of these sauces for French cuisine. This is the first video in a series of five videos covering all of the mother sauces. They're called the mother sauces because they have formed the basis of many different other French sauces. For example, the bechamel sauce, most notably, forms the basis of a Mornay. Now, the ingredients for this dish are One of the tips I have for using any sauces is the type of pot that you use. This pot comes with a rounded edge on the top and I highly recommend this because that way when you're pouring the sauce out of the pot you shouldn't have any spillage. Now to start with we just want to turn our stove onto a medium high heat and we want to add our 50 grams of butter. And we want to melt that butter. Once that butter is melted, we're going to add our 50 grams of all-purpose flour. So basically what we're creating here is a roux. And then we want to give it a good stir, making sure that we cook out all of the flour. And we stir and cook until it develops a little bit of colour, just about a minute or so. And then at this stage, I like to swap over to a whisk. We're going to slowly pour in our 500 ml of milk, giving a good whisk as we do. Of course, it wouldn't be cooking fabulously if I didn't have a little bit of spillage. As you can see, it's slowly combining there and becoming lovely and thick. Pour in the rest of that milk. Just giving a combined whisk so that there's no lumps and that everything is cooked out. Let that come to a brief simmer. Once that's come to a simmer, we simply just want to turn that off the heat and we're going to finally grate in some nutmeg. This is just a taste. And we want to season with some salt and some pepper. Give that a good whisk. And voila. Give it a little taste. Delicious, perfect. Just has a little bit of a hint of nutmeg to it. And then you just want to simply pour that into a bowl. Making sure you get every last bit. Didn't spill a drop because I've got that lovely saucepan that's got the round edges. And there we have a wonderful vegetable sauce. 
You can keep this for up to five days in the fridge. I would just put cling wrap over the top, making sure that the cling wrap is actually touching the top, the top of the sauce. Or you can put it in the freezer by putting it in an airtight container. And it will freeze and keep for up to about a month. In coming weeks, I'll show you some delicious recipes to use, and as well as some more delicious sauces on Saucy Sunday. I think I'll go bathe in some vegetable sauce now. I think it'll be great for the skin. I have to wait till it cools down.